My name is Ms. Reina and I'm the Dye Nutritionist for Bethesda and Spring Valley. I'm so excited to be with you again for Wellness Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about our favorite foods and how that makes us feel. And we're also going to talk of more about movement. We're going to move more together and think about how that makes our bodies feel. Stand on up so we can get started. All right, we're going to start with some stretching. You can stretch to your knees, to your shins, to your ankles, to your toes, however far you can stretch. Let's go ahead and, and stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's slowly come on up. How do you feel after that stretch? I need to wiggle out a little bit. You might want to too. When I stretched, my muscles felt so tight and then they were stretching, which felt really good. Like they really needed that stretch. Did you feel the same way? Was it hard for you to reach all the way down? Maybe it was a little frustrating because you wanted to be able to stretch further. That's okay. When we stretch, we are testing our flexibility and that takes a long time to build. So I'd like you to practice every day and see how much further you can stretch every day. So now I want you to think, think about your favorite food. What is it? Is it chicken? Is it salad? Is it pizza? Is it tacos? Is it pasta? There is no right or wrong to our favorite foods. We probably all have different favorite foods. Whatever it is, I want you to keep that in your mind. We're gonna think more about why that food is our favorite, and that's gonna help us learn more about ourselves. We're gonna think about three questions when we're thinking about our favorite food. First, we're gonna think about the emotions we feel when we think about our favorite food. Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel excited? Does it make you feel calm? My favorite food is sweet potatoes. I have one here to show you. This is a sweet potato. And when I think about sweet potatoes, I feel happy because I think about all the ways I like to eat them. Sweet potatoes come in all different shapes and colors and sizes. We see that this one is orange and it's kind of smaller than others, but some are bigger. And the other cool thing about sweet potatoes is we can eat them so many ways. We can eat sweet potato soup. We can eat roasted sweet potatoes. We can even make pancakes. So that makes me happy to think about all the ways we can eat sweet potatoes. The second question is, what memories do you have of your favorite food? Does it make you think about your family? Does it make you think about a holiday where you always eat that food? Does it make you remember eating that food in the school cafeteria with your friends? When I think about sweet potatoes, the memories I have are of my grandma. When I would visit my grandmother, she would make sweet potatoes. She'd often make baked sweet potatoes. And I loved visiting with my grandma. So that's a great memory. Third question is, how does your body feel when you eat that food? Is it a warm food and maybe it warms your body up? Or maybe it's a cold food and you shiver when you eat it. Is it sour? Maybe you make a funny face when you eat it. How does it make your body feel? When I eat sweet potatoes, I feel full. And when I feel full, my brain works better, I can think harder, and my body works better. I, can, I feel strong. So those are our three questions to think about, to get to know yourself a little bit better and why you like the foods that you like. One last exercise while we're together. We're gonna balance on one leg. So choose which leg you want. We're gonna balance for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And let's try the other leg. One, two, three, four, five. How did balancing make you feel? I had to think really hard so I wouldn't fall over. Did you wobble or maybe fall a little bit? 
That's okay. All right, we learned a lot today. We learned about why we like the foods that we do, how they make us feel. We learned a little bit about how movement, different types of movement make us feel. So I want you to think about this more today. Talk to your family about it.